Freitas the righty as Cervenka deals. Fastball inside again. Good block by Pelé to keep that one in front of him. And keep Jimenez down at second base. 389 on the year. 16 runs batted in. A chance to pick up one here as Cervenka comes to the set. Checks Jimenez at second. Kicks and deals the 2-0. Line drive toward right field. Diving stop by Kang. And he can't handle it. Picks it up and there's no play. So we'll see how that is scored. As Kang made a nice dive for it. Close to the outfield grass. And congratulations to David Friedis. It's a Lake Monster record 19 game hitting streak. They come in all shapes and sizes. He didn't kill this one. But it's equally as effective, and David Friedis has set the Vermont Lake Monster record with 19 consecutive games with at least one base hit. I don't know if Pele was going to try and show off a strong arm and throw from his knees, but he went to transfer it, and it popped up, and that ended that. So Labrie now with a chance to drive in a two-out run. The payoff pitch on the way. A line drive toward deep left center field. Sanchez playing way too shallow. He's not going to get it. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Scoring easily is Freitas from second base. And standing at third with an RBI triple is Ronnie Labrie. And the Lake Monsters take a 3-2 lead. Umbrella's still up in the certain parts of the general admission area. It's really just two people have the umbrella up. I don't know if someone hasn't notified them that it's not raining, or if it actually is. It's hard to tell. Fly ball right field. Wade Moore moving over on the line. Wade Moore on the run. Reaches out and makes a diving catch again. Wade Moore, have mercy. This is getting routine for Wade Moore as he retires the side and the Lake Monsters do yield a run as the spinners tie it up at four and four as we played four and a half here at Centennial. You're listening to Vermont Lake Monster Baseball. The Zone. A ball and two strikes now to the batter Wilfrey Pena. Righty against righty as Angeloni comes set. Moore takes off. The pitch is a high fly ball deep to left field. Going back for a look is Schwindenhammer at the wall, and this one is out of here! A two-run homer for Wilfrey Pena, and the Lake Monsters take a 6-4 lead. So Vinick staying alive, fouling a couple of 2-2 pitches off as the crowd ramps back into the two-strike clap. The righty Vinick against the righty Selick in his first save attempt of the year. Selick puts the hands together. The 2-2 hit on the ground towards short over Fort Martinson. Fields fires. And that's the ball game. And the Lake Monsters win by a final of 6-5. As Cameron Selick picks up his first save of the year. And the Monsters pick up win number 23. For Vermont, they pick up six runs on nine hits. They commit two errors. For the Spinners, five runs on six hits and three errors. Spinners are now 7-28 and 28 on the year. The Lake Monsters, 23-11. and 11, And move another half game above the Connecticut Tigers as the Tigers were rained out tonight. So 6-5 the difference tonight. A big Wilfrey Pena two-run home run in the bottom of the seventh inning to give the Monsters the victory 6-5. to five. We'll have the recap for you on the post-game show, which follows these kind messages after this. You're listening to Vermont Lake Monster Baseball.